When I first saw it, I thought, how on earth can you play this many strings at once? But of course you don't. Mm -hmm. You yeah. don't, you don't, you don't. We fake mm -hmm. it. To this scare people away. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 you really bend into the moon on that thing. <laughs> Five notes we can do. Wow. <laughs> the most intense bends I've ever seen. I think on, on this, maybe a step and a half. Yeah. And then anything like that, it's going to break. Yeah, yeah. We're here with the peak Mukherjee in New York, which is why you could probably hear some uh, construction outside the window. <laughs> <laughs> that is just part of uh, part of the song the for today. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Tell us about the sitar. What's a sitar? There's a lot of uh, controversies with the origin of sitar. It's not a very old instrument. 1730s mm -hmm. in India. It has developed from an uh, Indian instrument called Veena. This instrument, what you see, is a very modern style. This part is made of gourd, the edible gourd we eat. So that's the sound box. Mm -hmm. And these are the bridges. Generally, we used to have deer horns, sometimes elephant tusks, ivory bridges, which are not found anymore. Nowadays, bridges are made of fiber. This one is particularly made of delrin. This is a new type of bridge and which gives a lot of sustain. All the bridges that I've seen are like this, where there's just one singular point. Right. But here, it curves off. Yes, the curvature is very important in mm -hmm. bridge. It's part of the design that the string smacks against the exactly, bridge. Exactly, yeah. exactly. This is part of the design. These are the frets where we play like do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti. And we have got a ring. Then we can move this frets. This is a B. So once we move this, it becomes a B-flat. <laughs> According to the ragas that we play, we move the frets. Ragas are the melodic uh, representation of uh, emotions. And it has uh, got a composition, which is fixed and played with tabla, or sometimes people used to play with pakhavaj, the bigger drum. Yeah. And the rest is all improvised. Mm -hmm. So you tune it for the particular tune that you're playing. That was something that when I first saw the sitar, like this must be impossible to wrap your head around, because how many strings does this have? This one has got 13 sympathetic strings yeah. and six main strings. But 13 sympathetic strings have nothing to do with the playing, mainly mm -hmm. it's for... Yeah. So the mode of the raga you are playing, it's tuned to that. Mm -hmm. So this one has six strings. And those six strings are the ones that you play, and the sympathetic strings yes. are just... They vibrate yeah, they, along they, they with you. They give you the give richness you of the, adds to the richness of the sound. Mm -hmm. So once you play like, you see that little, yeah. what's going on? That's what the sympathetic strings do. Without that, if I block this, it will sound very weird. Blocked sound. But it just sounds like one string. Now it goes. And that's what gives it that beautiful, like, rich yeah. sound to it. And, and when I first saw it, I thought, how on earth can you play this many strings at once? But of course you don't. Mm -hmm. You yeah. don't, you don't, you don't. We fake mm -hmm. it. Totally. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look how many strings I'm controlling. Exactly. That's like, the point. Yeah. <laughs> to scare people away. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you can change the tunings. You can get a minor. So the mode of the raga you are playing, you can change the tuning accordingly. Yeah. And these two are the drone strings for to playing the rhythmic aspects. Yeah. Like So in many Indian movies, you will find this part, which is called Jhala, being played when there's a happy ending. Specific names for this. This yeah, is yeah. called Ati. This is called Targehan, through which the string passes. Similarly, the strings goes through this. We have to make a loop and pass it through, and then uh, pass it through the... There are holes in the tuning pegs, and then you start tightening it up. Yeah. Sometimes we add chalk to it to give it a grip. Yeah. Or sometimes water also helps. So wood expands and it gets tightened. Mm -hmm. Choose a bit like a, like a violin would. Yeah, but yeah. this instrument is prone to very much of uh, going up and down. So in the concert, you have to adjust. These are the mankas. Yeah, these are really, them. really cool. Yeah. These fine tuners. Yeah. These I've only really seen nice. these on sitar. It's such a cool system. It's so simple. Yeah, minor adjustments can be done here very nicely. Yeah, by just pressing the string yeah. up. And then on the other side, your main string here, you have this little dove that yeah. has the same purpose. Yeah. 
so cool. On some guitars, yes. like in a Floyd Rose, you'll have really fine tuners here, right. or like cellos will have right. fine tuners, right. yeah, but they don't look as nice as that one. It's such a cool system that it actually goes through the string and, and pulls it up. So what are these called? These seems like oh, if I were to travel are, with this instrument. It's what I do when I travel, I, I take uh, these things out. These are the cooties through which the strings pass. So essentially you have six strings that you actually play, 13 right. strings that are sympathetic strings that are just vibrating along yeah. to give you that sound. Exactly. And it seems if I'm not mistaken, you're mostly fretting on two? These two, the Joe These string mm -hmm. and the main string. This mm -hmm. is called the main string. The main string. Because obviously we play on it, that's yeah. why. The curvature of the fret, to get that five note bend, like. <laughs> so, to get that bend, you need that curvature. <laughs> that sounded lovely. Getting those bends on oh, here. Oh, that was nice. <laughs> Thanks, yeah. It's really cool that you did. The oh, whole step God. on this is as far as I can go. Yeah. All with the construction yeah, yeah, background. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> is this part of, this yeah, part of the part drone? Of the thing that, 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 yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we can try something in mine on now. The legs are falling asleep. <laughs> How many strings did you tune to go down to minor? The top one, I just tuned only this one. Mm -hmm. For the rest, I tuned this one, this one, that one, and I changed the mode for quite a lot. I just have to change one string to go to minor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. Did you ship any frets as well? Yes, I did. I moved this one and this one and that okay. one. Okay. Also, all the ones around the whole step. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now I can get everything on my fret on the mode. Mm -hmm. This is a mode called Bhairavi which is a very popular raga. You can use all the notes. Mm -hmm. And so it's a very open to interpretation raga. Many times when um, Indian musicians jam with jazz musicians, this is the mode they choose. Yeah. It's much easier to move into like... <laughs> we started getting a little bit metal there for a second. This one is called a mijrab, a plectrum. Mijrab? Yeah, a pointy end, and it will go till the end of your uh, fingertip. You have to press it hard, but there are different sizes for it. So <laughs> yeah, this, one, this one's a bit yeah. small for me. I think it's now yeah. on here permanently. <laughs> don't, don't worry about it. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, Th that also marks... Uh, oh, wow, yeah. It uh, sits very tight, mm -hmm. and then you develop callus for this. The way you put it is this. This one's a lot more comfortable. I also use different parts to play, uh, like this is a... And then you can do strokes like for a different tonal variation and from different places to get different tones.
made the mistake of trying to do an upstroke with this, and I really paid for it. Oh, you were playing with the I just started going into my same muscle memory right, with the guitar right, pick, right, right, right. and then the upstroke really got me. <laughs> really got me good. With the guitar pick, I'm usually, you know, like this, from right, the side. Right. But here, it's straight up and down, right. which I'm not quite as used to. Ooh, I can kind of get it. Yeah. I just got to change my yeah. angle. I didn't think we'd be playing metal today. <laughs> That's not at all what I expected. Ooh, actually, before we go into the other mm -hmm. tuning. Oh, it sounds so cool, especially with the bends. I would really like to try and play it. Can I try? Yeah, it? <laughs> sure. Pull the sitar in a, like a 45 degree angle. It's better. Like this? Yeah. And the thumb goes here. Right, right on top? Yes. And the thumb doesn't move. It's fixed out there. There are two strokes, a da, the upward stroke, and a ra, the da downward ra? stroke. Da and ra. Da and These are the only two strokes in sitar. Is it supposed to rest on your... The middle part of mm. the arm is, is resting. Oh, the, okay. Yeah. So that's on, what on keeps the, it up. Yes, that's what keeps it in a position. Yeah, because it is yeah. very neck heavy. It is. So. <laughs> this is the first do we call sa. That's where we start from. Sa, re, da, 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 da. Uh, we preferably play with the first finger mm -hmm. and the last note of a progression, we play it with a second finger. Oh, so are you only using these two mainly? These two mainly. Hmm. That's it. If you play, place your finger on sa and play a da with the wind string and then the three chikaris da, chik, chik, chik. There you go. And you can come back to fours again. Try not to move the thumb. Bro, so that yeah. will give you the uh, strength of the notes. Yeah, yeah. I'm so used to yeah. having the thumb. Yeah, right, right. Yeah, right, I usually right. have it like right Yeah, yeah, but right if, if I try to play finger. guitar, my thumb gets fixed here. Oh, yeah. You know, <laughs> it's the same thing. It's wild, too, to have this much of fretboard. Yeah. And then have so much room to go. <laughs> right, it, it can bend yeah. a lot. that you might not find very easily in guitar or other yeah. instruments here. Guitar player, I'll do it all in one fret. Going from guitar to this, the action here that. is so high. And above that, like the, the distance between the frets and the strings is so mm -hmm. high. And then there's all this space underneath them to fall into, which right. is not something that I'm used to, you know? Like it's really hard for me to not go to my third finger. Like all my muscle memory is telling me. Right. I did a, a video called Sitar Metal where I basically played it like a guitar. Oh. That's a really common thing with yeah, like distorted yeah. guitars. Nice. Palm muting the strings. Right. 
we can do it on the sitar also. Yeah, do you palm yeah. it on it? Sometimes I do it. But it makes sense that you would just use these two because yeah. you have a lot more power. You're not doing like bar chords on this. So. Yeah, and there's <laughs> another part which is called gamak. For this, you really need the strength. Gamaks are a part of the fast passages that you play in sitar. You're on that high string most of the time. Most of the time. Most of the time. And but then. Yeah. Oh, I saw you getting some of the sympathetic strings too there. That is very cool. Is that why you have a longer nail on your pinky? For the sympathetic yeah, strings? that's the reason. Classical guitar players will often have, you know, long nails. Long nails. But you have it just on the pinky, just yeah. for the sympathetic strings. Just for the sympathetic strings. That is so interesting. It's wild to me that you're only doing that with two fingers. Yeah, and you have to go across the whole length for playing. Whoa! <laughs> Are you just sliding yeah. up there or no? Jeez. Can I give that a try? Mm -hmm. And the right hand will move with a da and a ra, both up and down, or else you yeah. won't get the speed. Yeah. There you go. Yes. Now, if you fix your thumb and make short movements, it will be yeah. faster. <laughs> yeah, the, the mizrab also doesn't fit yeah. you. That's another problem. I, I can play pretty fast with a yeah, pig, yeah, yeah, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's just all your finger. I'm so used to bringing my wrist into it. Yeah, cause, um, that's a, yeah, that's exactly what I'm doing. Yeah, yeah. I'm doing this. <laughs> yeah. Nah, nice. I mean, you can already see with my fingers are getting just like oh, torn. Oh, be off. careful! Oh my god! Yeah, yeah, yeah. The skin's uh, coming out. Yeah. I think yeah, that's the where the shredding comes from. There. Yeah. <laughs> Do you think that's the word? A little bit of injury is just part of it. Then oh, this drop doesn't really fit dude. me. <laughs> dude, yeah. When I hear sitar, I always associate it with this drum. Yes, this keeps the bass, and this is the. So. Oh. So that's how you get these the things. Whoop? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So get okay. Whoop. Yeah, that is such a cool sound. This is pretty tough. Yeah, that's yeah. a very different way of playing. I never realized that's how you get by pressing into it, that's how you get that sound. Yeah. I never knew that. Yeah. I'm so familiar with that sound, but I didn't know. It's yeah. so cool. The tabla players have uh, calluses over here. <laughs> right. by that. Yeah. Yeah. Shall we end oh, with gosh. a fast jam where you can yeah, really sure. shred and then yeah. we'll end it on that?
Nice. Well, I think that's the Thank video. You. Thanks so much for letting Thank us be you. here and learn Thank about you. the sitar. Thank you for everything, you know? Yeah. Anything you wanted yeah. to plug? I also have a channel on YouTube. Feel free to subscribe. I will Absolutely. be really grateful. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. And you can subscribe here if you like. I'm sure this isn't the last time we do something like this. And we'll see you soon. See you soon. Thanks Thank again. you so much. Thank you. <laughs> nice.